what is iMobPos, the team behind this, who can use this, how it works, what does it replace, components of the solution, problem it solves, how large is the market for iMobPos, funds needed and for what do we need the funds, the funds that we have injected till date into this product, the current cor market competition that is out there and the business models uh, for this complete product. Uh, what is iMobPos? So iMobPos is a cutting edge mobile tablet based point of sale solution unleashing the true potential of the handheld devices. Now the point of sale solution is basically used by various businesses to create their bills and invoices for the transactions they make actually in their stores or any of the merchant establishments. So this iMobPos actually is a solution that is available on the cloud and which can be used by the merchants to take the payments from the cl uh, client in a very effective and a very technically superior manner. Uh, iMopos uses all the latest technologies of barcode scanning, credit card processing and emailing of all the emailing all on a mobile device or a tablet. So basically you do you are saving paper out here, you are saving your time, you are doing everything on the air and you are actually saving the wires. So iMopos is here to make your life simple, easy for the business owners. We take you to the next next slide. The team behind this, iMopos has got on four core team members with experience in administration, technology, marketing, branding, as well as we have a banking expertise and the experience on this. Now iMopos has got an advisory board that has served on large MNC banks, investment banking, corporate strategy, retail market experience and deployment of enterprise level mobile products. So that's basically a very deep experience that we have out here iMopPos team that is into the development area comprises of around 14 developers, testers who have got extensive experience on the mobile application, database development and automated testing. So that's basically the team behind this. We move on. Who can use this iMopPos? So banking and non-banking financial institutions, be it the PSU banks, private banks or the cooperative sector banks, supermarkets, hypermarkets, retail chains, utility companies mom and pop shopkeepers, charitable organizations, courier companies, temple schools. So basically it can be used by any kind of the business um, that actually takes their uh, money from the customer. Now food chain networks, distributor, dealers, shopkeeper, network owners, rental taxi companies, auto rickshaws, travel agents, bus operators. So these are the people who can actually use our iMopos. How it works. Now when you say how it works actually it's very easy, very convenient for a shopkeeper to uh, make it work. This has been currently designed for the Android based uh, tablets and the mobile phones. All that you have to do is the customer has, walk, has got to walk into the store. The customer has to do the purchases. After the purchases has been done, the shopkeeper connects a device that is a dongle into a 3.5 mm jack of his mobile phone and they just uh, take their credit card. After your invoice is generated and the amount is known, after taking your credit card they just swipe it onto the dongle and your payment gets through as the mo uh, mobile connects to the banking gateway at the back end. Now all this happens over the air, it happens very quickly, very seamlessly with a lot of security behind it so that uh, you don't as a customer face any problem. Now the transaction with the credit card processes uh, happens and the customer can actually leave the premises with an invoice and the bill emailed to their email ID. Now this sounds very interesting because you don't need to actually have any paper out there so basically this makes your transaction paperless at the same point of time also giving you a record that you can maintain on uh, in your email. Now how it works, so that's the thing, w uh, he walks into the store, shops for the products, stands in queue with mobile tablet approaches the customer scans the barcode uh, on the product enters the quantity generates a bill uh, pays by cash given printed bill pays by card that is being swiped on the iMopPod device leaves the store with the bill store inventory updated with the amount and products list so that's easy now what does it replaces in the store why uh, would a customer or why would a bank or an institution prefer iMopPos First of all, it does away with the pause machines, it does away with the EDC machines, it does away with the connectors and it does away with the whole lot of wires that are needed for the connectivity. All this thing is brought into a single mobile phone with iMopPos software installed inside it and a dongle that you can see in white color on the top of the mobile device. So it, they, it makes that easy, it saves your space, it saves your money and it saves your ROI in a long term and increases your ROI rather in a long term. The components of the solution, what are things that actually are needed for this? You need a mobile phone, 
you need a connector 3.5 mm jack dongle you need a small printer in case you want to print the uh, invoices and then you need a wi-fi router actually uh, to connect to the internet securely so uh, these things they are pretty cheap they're pretty simple to buy and uh, provides you a quick access to take your payments the problem it solves it does away with the post computer as i said scanner credit card machines wires long queues all in just a small mobile phone and the biggest advantage less space and total cost of ownership toc so that even the banks actually who are buying this currently the banks are buying the adc machines at a at a very big cost so this reduces their cost as well the customers need not stand in a queue for long duration the queues get over quickly so let's say for example you have a queue in the store from one end the person can be doing a billing from the other end another person can start doing the billing on the mobile phone as well as this device connected and take the payments via credit card so can work with and without need for large pause machines to be installed at various locations within the store this this makes your payment completely mobile flexibility of paying by credit debit cash and getting the bills generated and sent to your email which is not actually uh, available in the current POS devices. It reduces the maintenance cost of the store. It would have to incur on the POS machines. Gives small shopkeepers ability to have pause and at the same time maintain inventory levels. Because we have an inventory software that's running at the back end on the cloud. So again, a connectivity from any location. Small stores in urban and rural having less space can have the application on the owner's cell phone and reduced computer overheads, which is a big advantage actually for the small companies. Totally open source technology, licensing fees of the software is not needed. So basically this complete software has been developed using the open source tools. So actually there is no need to have any kind of the upgrades or any kind of uh, softwares to be installed at a later date which would actually uh, be a big problem for the store owner. Ordering can be done from office or while on move by having the module on mobile tablet and paying cash or online by the credit card. This is actually another application that we have for the customer side so that the customer can, act, can actually go to the shop, keep us inventory and order the items through that and actually email them the complete details and get the uh, products delivered or pay by online by the credit card. How large is the market? So while we will be targeting the organized and unorganized retail markets, hospitality, pharmacy and the IT industry, the above figures actually they, they are or they uh, were actually uh, prevalent when they were uh, like put into the slides but they have actually increased over the time because it's been already a one month since we have put these. So we are looking at both the internet, Indian and international markets for the iMobPos product. We look ahead to appointing the dealers and distributor for the iMobPos product. So funds needed and for what? So PADSS certification we need 12 lakhs that that going to take us around one week. Uh, PADSS certification is something like you need for an application to be put on your mobile phone which gives a secure access to the user and the banks are also very much secure by having this uh, certification. PCIDSS certification this we need for the device. And that cost you around 34 lakhs that takes around five weeks to get the certification done because the certifying company actually uh, dissects your device and checks the complete hardware so that we are not storing any kind of the credit card information and the automated testing in case like we want to do automated testing for this complete product so that's additional five lakhs the payment gateway development in case we want to increase our uh, uh, stakes actually in the payments that are taken from the clients we can have our own payment gateway developed the uh, the cost for that is around 1.2 crores so that makes actually the complete thing as uh, 2 crores but uh, even if we do the initial PADSS and PCIDSS certification we are perfectly fine with that because that gives us leverage to go into the bank and uh, do a lot of uh, marketing actually on that. The funds that we have injected till date, the salaries, the device, the mobile phones, computer, communication, internet, miscellaneous. So this is all uh, basically for the 14 member team that's working on this from the last uh, couple of months to get these, uh, get iMobPos up and running onto the mobile tablets. Uh, the devices we have imported from China uh, after the duties and the taxes have been paid for that. The mobile phones, basically the latest Android as well as the iOS mobile phones. Uh, computer consists of the Apple Macs, Windows hardware with the cloud servers and everything that's basically on the cloud so we can uh, access them via our uh, internet connectivity. Internet related to the uh, lines for the development of the project and for the data exchange that happens between the devices. 
So these are the list of the competitors that are there in the market: the MobiSwipe, India Transact, EasyTap, iCash, MSwipe, and iMopPos. At the end, now while these people they are providing point of the sale solutions, we are also providing the point of the sale solutions, including a web-based ERP in which the users can actually save their complete data and uh, have the complete inventory maintained on the cloud side, so that even if the shop is closed, still they they can actually uh, be looking at the inventory. The biggest advantage that we have out here is while the uh, other guys, uh, they, uh, the M Swipe guys and a uh, couple of other guys, they have their product actually sourced from the uh, foreign market. Uh, we have this complete product in-house developed, which gives us the advantage of actually uh, changing the product modules or maybe like increasing or decreasing the kind of the uh, modules that are there in the application and we can add the features very easily to the application and have it and roll it out into the market at a very quick pace coming to the customers and the various models so these are uh, the year on year actually uh, customers that we have for the various models we can have the monthly subscription for the iMopper software at the merchant establishments that would be thousand numbers the monthly subscription from iMopper software at financial inclusion now financial inclusion is one of the areas that we are very actively looking at because we are very strong in that area and there are uh, around uh, 16 lakh financial inclusion uh, people all around the India and currently the financial inclusion market is such that the uh, business the banking correspondents they don't have any proper uh, system to have a real-time update of the uh, money that they have collected into the bank servers then we have direct sales of the IMOP post to the above customer verticals on one-time fee basis the cloud hosting for the product revenue from advertising through emails and the SMS that would actually go in the into the customers emails as well as the SMS that we send to the customers and the licensing based revenue models in case we sell a product to somebody else who can resell this product into the market so uh, while we have done very few numbers actually out here these are very realistic figures which we uh, will easily be able to achieve once we have the certification in place and year on year basically it's just adding the number to the uh, uh, previous it's a cumulative uh, total that we have given out here and it would be very easier for us to add it uh, over the years so the financials that we have worked in the inflows in the first year are around uh, 1 crores the outflow is 2.5 crores so the first year we are not breaking even but yes second year down the line we are making a revenue of around 5.2 crores and we are showing a profit of around uh, 2.5 crores which are which is a huge profit and if you look at the option b actually the option b shows uh, the revenue from the payment gateway in case we have a payment gateway in place so the profit and loss after the payment gateway is again a, a, a very big thing that comes to us uh, in the second year down the line third year and fourth year and the fifth year down the line so basically these are all figures in the indian rupees uh, next we come down to the business models where are we going to sell this product so we are going to partner with the it sector and the banking companies so that we directly sell it to the banks the banks can sell it to their uh, merchant establishment to whom they are already selling their edc machines uh, then the target market for us is banks financial inclusion companies insurance companies oil companies healthcare companies retail organized unorganized mlm companies rental car companies small business owners in tier one tier two tier three cities online e-commerce portals in india and abroad overseas market for the same product now these are some of the uh, business models that are actually we are going to follow them and we have spoken to a couple of them out there in the market and they have actually uh, shown a very keen interest in our product and uh, would be going ahead with us uh, what we would like to show you is the comparison in the into the financial inclusion market that we are targeting on a very big scale uh, so if we go into the financial inclusion market uh, how are we placed actually so these are the some of the financial inclusion slides so the traditional versus the IMOP post currently that there's a banking correspondent in the traditional model IMOP post also has a banking correspondent in the traditional model there are too much hardware needed there's a mobile phone there's a laptop there's a fingerprint scanner there's a pause there's a edc machine there's a bag and there are wires uh, whereas uh, in in the new model you just have a fingerprint scanner and a mobile phone uh, the cost of the hardware it's 60000 rupees in case of the traditional model in case of the imop it's just 10000 rupees so you are saving around 50000 rupees per banking correspondent multiply that by 1700 uh, banking correspondents out in the market so that's a huge money that's running into crores 
data updation once in the evening if internet connectivity down then the next day so that's a very big problem with the banks so the banks actually don't know in the real time how much data they have actually uh, how much money the banking correspondents have actually collected data updation instantly to the bank servers from any location with the imop pass so that's a very big advantage you come to know how much money has been collected by any of the banking correspondent instantly high cost of hardware support in case of traditional models uh, you need to have computers you need to have machines you need to have other um, things fixed so that's a huge maintenance negligible cost of hardware support the hardware support in this case is like the mobile phone as well as the dongle uh, or the fingerprint scanner which usually don't require so much of the maintenance and the biggest advantage we have is installation takes longer work stopped until required software the technician is not available to install the software in a traditional model versus imopos imopos is just a mobile phone so in case your one mobile phone is down just pick up any of the mobile phones you install over software and you are up and running so you don't need to actually install any software uh, and everything is installed from the web and your banking starts right away if the edc machine crash crashes or lost or damaged data and monetary loss to the owners is huge because you actually uh, the banks actually spend up uh, around 22000 rupees to 25000 rupees to procure a single edc machine in this case with a printer attached to it so that's a huge cost for the bank if the mobile is lost data is safe as the data is already uploaded into the bank servers monetary loss is negligible compared to the edc machine the edc repair and maintenance also huge cost mobile repairs and maintenance is not a huge cost plus the mobile phone uh, can act as a mobile phone as well as as a uh, uh, banking device for the correspondent so that they don't need to carry uh, different devices with them traditional versus imopos in case of the languages language selection is not there out there on the edc machine so uh, so if you go into the remote areas who don't understand any other language except their own local language but in imopos we can have n number of languages feeded into the system so that any user in any state any locality they can have their own language hindi english marathi tullu kannad oriya bengali punjabi kashmiri urdu anything so that makes imopol very versatile to be used by all these operators so the advantages less hardware cost huge roi reach remote places carrying just a mobile device and collect and give payments so that's a very big advantage that you have uh, with the imop post product mobile can give double advantage as phone as well as the payment device at the same time so you don't need to carry different devices so just a single mobile phone can do the uh, complete thing for you less support cost and lesser support personnel required you don't require so many personnel for the support actually for the installations and everything so you just need one mobile uh, the device guy who can fix your mobile devices uh, imopos helps update the information to the bank servers immediately so that's real time information that is upgraded onto the bank servers that's uploaded onto the bank servers it is easily upgradable from the internet in any language hindi english marathi as explained earlier imopos solution is saving your time money and energy that's what we are focusing on while putting the solution in the market thank you and we do appreciate you listening to this complete presentation and if you have any queries you can reach out to me bharat.sharma at imopos.com i will repeat it for you it's b h a r a t dot s h a r m a sharma at the rate i m o b p o s i m o p o s dot c o m com my mobile number 9892476572 thank you